appreciate and salute everyone for the discipline to be here. It says, Oh Lord my God, early will I seek you. There is timing when it has to do with seeking the Lord. And so I appreciate everyone. I also truly want to honor Pastor Emmanuel and his lovely wife. You have an amazing pastor. God bless you. Bless you, ma. And the entire pastorate, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Father, send your word this morning and let it change my life. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Send your word this morning. Send your word. Let it change my life. Let it transform my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated for a few minutes. We'll have just a brief session this morning. It will largely be a prayer meeting. I'll just open our eyes to a few truths and then we will pray. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible there declares in Proverbs chapter 4 when you read from verse 18 that according to God's intent for man the path of the just even as he advances in life and through life should be as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day that means in God's economy a man should not have a better yesterday it should never be that your yesterday becomes better than your tomorrow the path of the just is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day hallelujah what i want to teach you this morning very briefly is a key that can open closed doors but let's discuss the concept of doors for a few minutes a door is an authorized system of access a door represents an authorized system of access you may have heard me say it once and again that if a visitor enters through your window he's inside your house but he's not an authorized access the authorized access when a person is welcomed when we came into this beautiful auditorium we came in through the door imagine seeing me jump from the zinc i'm in here the roof now but i'm not welcome so a door represents an authorized system of access Doors represent opportunities. Doors allow for movement. The presence of doors, listen carefully. Doors allow for movement when opened. If a door is opened, it means you have access to advance. If a door is closed, it means you are restricted. Now listen carefully. When a door is opened, you can move in and out freely if this door is open i can walk out at will and return back at will but when a door is closed it brings limitations it brings delay it brings frustrations when a door is closed even though it is there let me tell you something else about doors Doors midwife seasons connecting a season and the next are doors. The same way this door is midwifing this auditorium and the passage outside. If I want to get to that passage, I will have to go through this door. So doors, spiritual doors, midwife seasons. When you are living a season into another season, you will encounter 
a door and if you do not have the key that opens that door you can remain in certain seasons almost forever is god speaking to us first hmm. thessalonians chapter 2 please and verse 18 this is a prayer meeting let your heart be fired up read with me please paul is speaking now to the church in thessalonica ready one to read wherefore we would have come to you even i paul i tried once and again but your blessings wanted to come to you it kept trying to reach you breakthroughs wanting to come to you it tried once keep that scripture there please and again it says but satan so that satan can be behind the closed door of a man and stop that door from opening you keep having dreams that show advancement you keep having prophecies that decree that you should move forward but these doors remain closed why because satan can become a resistance i desire to have come to you your breakthrough is speaking i desire to have come to you your next level is speaking i desire to have come to you the next level of oil on your life the next level of influence the next level of fire the next level of increase the job you are looking for once and again i tried but satan hindered us <laughs> revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 please pay attention this morning revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and to the angel of the church in philadelphia write this thing saith he that is holy and he that is true listen carefully and he that had the key of david what does that key do he can open and when he opens no man can shut and he can shut and when he shuts no man there are doors when you open someone else can shut it but there is a key that when you hold when you open that door no power in existence will sustain the ability to shut it first corinthians 16 first corinthians 16 from verse 8 and 9 first corinthians 16 from verse 8 let's go to verse 9 but i will tarry at ephesus it says for a great door and effectual is open unto me but i'm still not able to pass through it why there are many i have seen in my visions that god is opening me to a greater level of ministry a greater level of spiritual exploit a greater level financially but let me tell you something one of the ways you confirm that you are on the right mountain is the presence of giants if you go to a mountain that does not have anything there run away because whatever attracts you also attracts the devil satan is interested in everything god is saying when it comes to you he wants to find out what has god said i am lifting you that becomes his next assignment to stand and inhibit your rising so there are doors that can limit men but there is something that we can do to doors hallelujah there is something we can do to doors because i sense in my spirit that there are many people you are ending seasons spiritual seasons financial seasons like i began to teach yesterday but you must be trained to know how to open closed doors so that you can step into a new level let me tell you if you disregard what i'm telling you you will spend your life recycling the same seasons they did not take the nation of israel 40 years over a journey that they would have covered in 40 days the bible says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of them why because they do not know the way to the city not because there is no city they do not know the way to the city so jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 says to stand in the way he says 
began to ask for that old path where is the good way and when you have found it walk in it make advancement in that direction and you will enter your sabbath you will find rest for your souls if we are together say amen, amen. matthew chapter 7 i love jesus my goodness my god matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 jesus is teaching in what we call the beatitudes it was a mentorship session he was having introducing the people of the day to the kingdom life he was exposing them to the way that the kingdom operates please give it to us verse 7 ask he says and it shall be given to you seek and you shall find but when you come before closed doors knock don't discuss knock and if you truly knock it leaves you with a promise that that door will be open are we bible students so jesus is teaching us what to do with closed doors now that every time you come before a closed door you must know how to knock there is a way and there is a skill that you use to knock closed doors even if that door did not open for your father even if that door did not open for your mother even if that door did not open for anyone in your lineage you can come with an understanding and there is a way you knock that door and my bible and your bible says it shall be opened verse 8 for here is the law verse 8 same matthew for everyone how many people did he say men of god did he say people in worry alone everyone that asketh will receive everyone that seeketh will find and everyone my goodness that means there is nobody here who should remain the same because this blessing is for everyone there are things in the bible that are for certain people but there are things that are for everyone when it has to do with opening closed doors everyone can be a benefactor it says everyone that knocketh, it shall be opened i want to show you how to knock closed doors this is my assignment this morning seeing that if you must make advancement midwifing between seasons in your life you will meet closed doors if you master what i teach you this morning i would have completed my assignment successfully in this city the bible never said use your hand to knock there is a skill by which we knock closed doors i want to show you that skill and then we pray pray in the spirit in one minute yes a closed door is about to open i assure you age-long doors doors that have refused to open will answer now because it's time to advance hallelujah praise the name of the lord luke chapter 11 the mentor jesus is about to teach us how to open closed doors luke chapter 11 please we'll read the first 10 verses but the verse of emphasis starts from five and it came to pass please look up and pay attention that as he was praying so what is the subject matter here prayer in a certain place when he ceased one of his disciples said unto him lord teach us to pray we notice that when john was mentoring his disciples he taught them something about prayer but you've not taught us anything about prayer and jesus said to them when you pray say so prayer can be taught a man can be taught to pray when you pray say our father which art in heaven i've done a teaching on this hallowed be your name your kingdom come thy will be done as in heaven so in earth we're reading give us this day our daily bread next verse forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone that is indebted to us 
and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil now the discourse starts pay attention and he said unto them which of you shall have a friend and shall go to him at midnight and say friend lend me three loves for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and i have nothing to set before him this is shame this is embarrassment i'm making progress but now i've met with a situation i need help he says and he from within please go okay he says and he from within shall answer now watch what is happening i am outside but my help is inside midwifing my outside and inside is a door and now i do not know how to pass that door the bread i'm looking for is inside the house the friend who is my destiny helper is inside the house and i am here standing outside jesus is teaching us what to do the friend said trouble me not the door is now read your bible don't trouble me the door that should be open for bread to come the door that should be open for your helper to come is now shut and my children are in with me in bed i cannot rise and give you verse 8 hallelujah 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 i say unto you though he will not rise jesus is teaching us how to knock and open closed doors he will not rise and give him because he is his friend yet because of his importunity the word importunity is the word persistence the capacity to stay and remain and not bend what will happen he will rise and give him how many how many therefore this is the formula i say unto you again ask amplified says ask and keep asking seek and keep seeking and you shall find it says knock and keep knocking and the door shall be open unto you verse 10 the last verse for everyone who asks and keeps on asking receives everyone who seeks and keeps on seeking finds and everyone who knocks and keeps on knocking now listen carefully so jesus has given us a very classic narrative i'm on my journey through destiny and then i find out that in the other side is my lifting in the other side is a new anointing in the other side is a new dimension of grace but midwifing my current realm and the realm i intend to access is a door and yet to access that door the door is shut colossians 4 verse 3 who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the lord of lords i will praise adonai from the rising of the sun till the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise Colossians 4 verse 3 Champions Cathedral Read with me One, two, read Without Praying for us also That God stop 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 don't rush there are doors only god can open the holder of the key to close doors please keep that scripture we need to look at it there's something we pick there who opens closed doors god has a key 
that can open even ancient doors doors that refuse to open for those who went ahead of you your own assignment is that there is a way you can pray this is how you knock on closed doors you knock on closed doors by calling the attention of the one who has the key to that door i may not have the key but i know the one who has the key and i can call upon him and the bible says call upon me and i will answer close doors pray for us that god would open unto us a door in this case a door of utterance but it can be a door of favor it can be a door of lifting is someone learning this morning last scripture and we begin to pray james chapter 5 apostle james began to teach us again speaking on how to close and to open verse 5 james 5 verse 13 13 13 he says is any among you afflicted he says let him pray is any merry let him sing psalms uh-huh the bible says is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up and if he have committed any sins they shall be forgiven him now pay attention it says confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed then he tells us the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much next verse he now uses an individual to personify the power of prayer and its ability to control the opening and the closing of doors follow carefully elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are the bible says he prayed talk to me he prayed knock and keep knocking knock and keep knocking he prayed endlessly that it might not rain i hope you know that between the earth and the atmosphere there is a door that is the door that shuts rains and it is the opening of it that brings rain the bible says he prayed that it would not rain and that door became closed for three years and six months and when it was time for him to open the door what key did he use he prayed again so if you prayed for yesterday's victory to come what do you do for tomorrow's door to open again you pray again he prayed again that the door be opened and the heavens gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit the ministry of prayer with understanding is one of the master keys that opens closed doors especially doors that satan is directly behind it causing a resistance i have learned this in my life i have learned this in ministry the challenge is that many believers are not given to strategic intentional continual prayer it's the reason why we stand before closed doors for so long for many years and it seems as though god is powerless concerning such situations when you truly know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and to pray the bible leaves us with an assurance that even ancient doors can be lifted do you know something there are times that your prayer becomes so powerful the door is not open it is broken why is it broken so your children will not have to pay that price again if i only open the door sometimes i may pass but what happens to my child psalm 24 verse 7 if you are a christian i'd like you to shout this scripture one two three lift up your heads uh -huh. hold on hold on 
king of glory wants to pass but he does not want to pass alone so he didn't say doors open he says doors be lifted get out of the way so that as i come out i now become the first begotten let many be able to come doors can be open but doors can be broken he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder hear me look up please you only need a key to a door that has a padlock and has a space for key but there are certain doors that do not have a space for keys at that point you don't need a key you need the force to break it have you seen them seal an entrance when the doors require keys you can pray and god can give you the wisdom the keys the principles to engage and the doors open but there are times you stand before doors and there is no provision to slot a key there is no padlock there is just a mast of resistance at that point you do not need keys you need to pray this prayer lift up your hands when they got to jericho the bible says the fence of jericho was so fortified they didn't need jericho to open they needed to shut it down and flatten it and with one loud blast i understand you have praise sessions you have prophetic sessions by this night and your praise night maximize those moments because as you lift up your voice in praise and in worship i tell you there are doors that will crumble before you jericho was an altar what sort of a place is that that nothing goes in and nothing comes out there is nobody who builds a house without a place for passage but jericho was short nothing goes in nothing goes out this morning we have come here as i wrap up my session with you there are doors that need to open there are doors that need to be broken in any case all doors must open are we together how many doors how many doors i hope you know when it was time for the nation of israel to leave egypt when the heat was getting hot pharaoh started negotiating he said okay this is what will happen we will allow the men to go but the children stay behind and moses said no way if i am leaving my children will also follow he says as for me and my house so your prayer this morning is not just for you alone while we are praying let your children be there let your family be there some of you you are the first genuine christian in your family at that point you don't just need an open door there are doors you are going to smash to pieces this morning and make up your mind hear me there are families where you will never eat until you become a slave you can travel abroad for decades you return back and your future looks like yesterday he makes his ministers his angels spirits and his ministers flames it was a great man of god who said no matter how mad a man is he does not enter fire by mistake no he's not that mad so three things will happen this morning as we pray number one we're going to take our time to engage in serious prophetic prayers prayers over doors some of you doors of admission have refused to open are we together some of you doors of children doors of breakthrough all kinds of doors doors of finances doors of spiritual advancement up today down tomorrow no passion no fire i desire to come to you once and again some of you have businesses the door is open physically 
but spiritually the door is closed can i tell you this you can be in a city but in the realm of the spirit you are outside that city because the riches and the blessings of that city is it not in your bible it says blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord a city can reject a man you are there but nothing is answering to you you buy a land it becomes a source of trouble you send your child to school every trouble is there just when you want to drive out in the morning you, you get into a trouble all kinds of things there are doors that can open is someone tired of his current level listen if you are not tired of where you are there's no this meeting is not for you but there are people here even spiritually you are saying lord i'm tired i know you have called me there is an unction upon my life there is a grace you have sent me and you gave me a commission over this city i'm tired of this level of anointing you have called me to walk in the healing anointing and yet nobody is getting healed through my life you have called me to be a prophet and every prophetic word i give looks like a lie you have called me to be a kingdom financier and yet no door is opening you have called me to be a mother that best generals and yet barrenness is eating me up can you open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute are you praying? Shaba <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. We are praying. My spirit is fired up. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Men don't just move forward. There is a force that comes from the Lord. Are you ready to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this season, every mountain, every closed door, stand in my way, scatter in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Every mountain, Every mountain, every mountain, every door in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be open, Ephata, be open, every mountain, be scattered now, and every closed door, be open. Be lifted, be open, be lifted. Pray, pray, pray. Doors, midwifing my new season. Doors, midwifing new realms, new dimensions of power, new dimensions of grace, new opportunities. Be open. Every 
Brekatos Keteleketa, Skenda Pratos Koto Brekatelekata. Baranta Catabras Catabella Cata Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Please don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That means listen the physical things that are happening are not where the problem is the man annoying you in the office is not really the problem behind the scene there are spirits controlling men the one refusing for you to move forward just sign a document and let me go there are spirits keep that scripture there fighting things physically is a waste of time we wrestle not against flesh this battle is not in the realm of flesh and blood. All of a sudden, the helpers of your destiny seem to be forgetting you. Someone is making them forget you. The Bible says, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree, I declare, by the blood of the Lamb, the of the Lamb. Every, power every power standing, standing. the way to my advancement caused by ancestry, ancestry. bloodline, bloodline. Foundations. foundations. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. I come against you. I come against you. Every resistance, every power in partnership with humans, in partnership with systems and structures to frustrate the purposes of God over my life, over my advancement. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Habarakatos ketebrenda ketebrenda. Skoto poko kobra ketebrenda ketebrenda. Embrenda ketos ketebrenda. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus first Kings chapter 18 we'll begin our reading from verse 45 
something is about to happen listen this was when the heavens refused to produce rain the bible says it came to pass in the meanwhile that on prayer elijah had invested in prayer the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was great rain and i have rode i have seemed to have gone ahead of elijah it seemed like elijah was experiencing delay but something happened in verse 46 oh may that be your miracle help those under the anointing the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah everybody shout speed shout it again say speed there are times that life has gone ahead of you there must be grace not just to advance but to advance on time and catch up the bible says and he guarded his loins and he ran before ahab even to the entrance of Israel. father in the name of jesus every delay that i have suffered in time past i receive a grace from heaven to run to pursue to overtake to take over lift your voice and pray grace for speed grace for speed speed of accomplishment spiritual speed speed in your career the hand of the Lord Oh yes, oh yes, the hand of the Lord upon my life, bringing speed, advancement, speed, ten years in one year, ten years in one year, ten years in one year, ten years in one year. Yes, in one year. Ten years in one year. In the name of Jesus Are we still together? Listen Listen Praise the Lord Now listen to me One of the forces That controls advancement And even speed Is the force of favor Now listen please Favor is when someone is willing to invest his time his credibility his resources to see that you rise on time it's a system of acceleration you may have heard me say who hates you in this life does not matter but who likes you matters who hates you does not matter but i can tell you who likes you matters you know why because all blessings come from God through men to men. It does not just come from God to men. It comes from God through men. Men can be doors themselves. Doors are not just blocks. Human agents can be doors. Gatekeepers are doors. They can choose to frustrate you or they can choose to cooperate with you. Esther chapter 2 someone is about to receive a grace for favor please listen hear me listen to me 
the number one reason why people prosper and advance in this kingdom behind every tearsome testimony behind every strange advancement of men i can tell you this is the favor of god it's true if you have been sleeping wake up now because what you are about to receive can define the next decade of your life i have seen people listen the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night i have seen business people ceos productive sincere people very gifted but there is no favor on them i have seen music artists anointed people when i heard their songs i said why is the world not hearing you no favor there are skilled people there are artists there are people who have drawn me portraits of me and when i saw what they did i said you shouldn't be at this level it takes more than skill to excel in this kingdom i want to show you a secret now that will give you advancement esther chapter 2 when the king banished vashti please pay attention and there was need for a woman who occupied that position they gathered all the women across the 127 provinces and there was a little villager called hadassah from shushan and her uncle mordecai said why don't you go to paradventure the king may like you esther 2 15 that young girl was there among the many people i show you what distinguishes you among the crowd because what you are looking for others are looking for it too there must be a grace on your life that distinguishes you especially in a continent like ours now when the turn of esther the daughter of abihai the uncle of mordecai who had taken her for his daughter was come to go on to the king listen carefully she required nothing but what hey guy the king's chamberlain the keeper of the women appointed what happened esther obtained favor in the sight of how many listen if it is favor the only person who cannot respond to you is a blind man favor works with the power of sight provided men see you there is a compelling anointing now watch this when you read the preceding verses let's go to 16 we'll end at 17. so esther was taken listen carefully to king ahasuerus into his house royal in the 10th month which is the month tebeth in the seventh year of his reign there was an oil that Haggai gave her keep rubbing this ointment on your body other women were learning how to attract the king but Haggai said i have worked with the king i am the one who keeps his women i know what the king wants let me give you a kind of oil forget about what these women are doing keep rubbing that oil on your body after one year go before the king and she heeded to his advice the bible says verse 17 and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashti listen there is an oil there is a grace i call it the esther anointing it can come upon an individual and you go where they drove you yesterday and then you are back to that same place and there is this charm like aura that you carry are you ready to pray father the grace for favor let it come upon me lift your voice and pray the grace for favor Grace for favor. The grace for favor. Sala 
The grace for favor. Don't be tired of praying, your life is changing. The grace for favor. In the name of Jesus, the grace for favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen, we have three more prayer points and we are done. I'm still speaking on favor. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. This is how you know the favor of God is upon you. Are you ready? One, two, let's read together. In the sight of the Egyptians. What is the proof? It shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. It is proof that the favor of God is not upon your hand emptiness emptiness have you heard people say i know this one i know the chief judge of this place i know this one we even act together with the governor there are people who know everybody but nothing comes from there to lift you i know the manager of this place i know this great man of god we used to be together we were neighbors no don't be like jacob there were angels ascending and descending near him but none of them was talking to him just because you are close to a door does not mean the door has opened are you ready to pray you are going to cause the spirit of emptiness listen 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 we are christians when we make these demands is because we love the lord and what comes from us will serve his purposes so we are not afraid to make these petitions we are not some carnal people just wanting to glorify the flesh say in the name of jesus the spirit responsible for hardship and emptiness in my life i challenge you by the power of the holy ghost be gone now in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray emptiness emptiness paro sekete prende gete belegata sekete bekate parakato prato sekete skate prende gete proska telegata e prakate paro so sokoto prende gete keteleba i challenge emptiness from my life i challenge emptiness from my business i challenge emptiness from my family in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah 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 one last one last prayer over the issue of favor a scripture god is just putting in my spirit now psalms i think that psalms 44 verse 3 psalms 44 let me show you there is a grace that establishes men in a territory they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them there are many people who want to make advancement and be established thank god for the grace to pay rent but lord i'm trusting now that you will establish me it will not just happen just by savings alone uh -uh. <clears throat> father i have five children six children three children and now it's time to send them to school but i need the wherewithal let me show you the key please keep that scripture 
they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but your right hand thy arm and the light of your countenance how did you do it because thou hast a favor ah. hear me you will never i'm saying this to everybody but particularly the men in this church the real secret to establishment is the favor of god can i tell you this the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men when men love you and are willing to invest their time their credibility you can have money and not be favored the proof of favor is when men can appear and come and say we will help you david was in the cave of adulam and there were certain men who came and said oh God, our assignment here is to stand by you till you become a king that leads me to the next prayer point are you ready to call the helpers of your destiny hear me men can be doors you can pass through men to new levels in your life my life today is a product of the ministry of destiny helpers there has to be someone anointed commissioned authorized to hold your hand watch this let me use this gentleman you see where he is he desires to move forward to come to this realm but it takes someone already here to say give me your hand and he will help you There is no destiny helper who comes on their own. They are called. Hear me. Some of you, this is why you have been fasting and praying. And say, Lord, it's not difficult for you to lift me. The person who is there is not seeing you. There has to be a grace that connects you to your helper. Please hear me. Don't just be excited for nothing. These things, these prayers are destiny altering prayers. There are four levels of destiny helpers that if they do not show up in your life, you can never rise. I've done a teaching on them, but let me just give you in one minute. Our time is up. Number one, the first category of destiny helpers you need, they are called divine connectors. They don't have the solution you are looking for, but they know who can help you. Hear what I'm telling you. The slave girl did not have the power to heal Naaman, but she knew how to recommend him to the prophet. The key to receiving from those kinds of destiny helpers is discernment. Because they will come in forms that you may not appreciate them. It may be a bike man who gives you a handbill of a crusade, a handbill of a conference. And that handbill, you come for that conference and you encounter grace that changes you. The key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment. That's why it's good to honor all men. Don't honor only blessed people. Don't honor only great people. God will use the least likely people. God can use your security man to be the one to connect you. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who has what you are praying for. Are you learning this morning? The second category of destiny helpers that you need in your life, they are called men of influence. There are times you need the gatekeepers, the captains of industry. Whether they are born again or not, let me tell you something. There are people that are not castable. They are gatekeepers. You can't cast them. If God wants you to pass through that door, he will make them like you. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace. Because there is an office they occupy. If they refuse to let you pass, you can pray all you can, yet you will not pass. How will Joseph rise if Pharaoh did not love him? Hear me please. It's not enough to know big men. You must pray that they know you. Men of influence are men who by reason of their sacrifices, by reason of their credibility, their skill and their service, they have earned the loyalty of a territory. 
men believe in them one signature from them help this person can end 10 years don't downplay men this is a world of men the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord but the earth has he given to the sons of men believe me when I tell you if men decide to fight you only God can help you don't ignore men believers have done this if you praise God and say I don't need any man just because you are showing his sovereignty you are right but if you say I don't need any man just because you think you can do it without men you are joking even God needed men are we together it is in the multitude of men not treasures that the king's honor lies hear me you need men of influence there has to be someone who can endorse you there has to be someone who can carry his credibility of 20 years and leverage it on you whether you are in ministry whether you are in music ministry you are in whatever sector struggling on your own and trying to rise past step you will spend your whole lifetime trying to rise you need someone there are times you have the gift oh joseph but you are in the prison you need somebody already in the palace to speak for you and if you do not have a pharaoh to send for you you may remain in your dungeon the bible says and the king sent for joseph not god the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon there is one person who can decide to invest his credibility on your life and in a matter of months your life can change am i wasting your time the third category of destiny helpers because i want us to pray and i don't just want you to pray blindly i want you to pray with intelligence the first category of destiny helpers don't forget divine connectors second men of influence third gifted men you need to pray gifted men to your life gifted men conserve your resources they conserve your energy there are many companies that have so many staff hundred people and yet there are ten people who can deliver the same results gifted men the largest corporations in the world are people who have mastered the art of putting together a team of absolutely brilliant and phenomenal people you need gifted men the bible says if the axe head is blunt there will be much energy there will be much labor you need people who are cunning who are skilled that's why when saul discovered david he said you play skillfully come the palace is where you should be you need gifted people the last set of destiny helpers that you need if you must advance and make progress in this life they are called burden bearers what betides any man who does not have burden bearers these people don't like you because of your fame <clears throat> they are not looking for your results their assignment is not to move you forward their assignment is to keep you from going backward burden bearers there are the ones who cry with you when things go bad few of them among the maze of psychophants who loiter around you because of money and fame there are a few people who sincerely love you they will pray for you they don't just stand with you they die with you that's what Ruth told Naomi your God will be my God your people will be my people can I tell you this I presume that there are many people who God has helped and blessed and established in this church let me give you a powerful secret you're a businessman here you're a captain of industry you're a senior executive let me give you an advice I want you to take a very careful inventory of the people who are really burden bearers in your life do you know why many great men plunge to depression and even death because when things go wrong in their life suddenly they find out that everyone who has loitered around them was there just for what they will get our world is largely driven by interest and selfishness but there are a few people who are there not for what they can get there are people who will cry with you they will die with you they will receive the blows for you don't ignore those people they may not be educated 
they may not be smart but they are gifts from god so when you are now praying for destiny helpers you know what you are praying for that number one lord send divine connectors number two send men of influence number three send gifted men but in all your sending oh god also send burden bearers lift your voice and begin to pray pray and receive the ministry of destiny helpers Receive the ministry of destiny, help us. Ask the Lord to send you divine connectors. Ask the Lord to send you man of influence the Lord to send you gifted men. Ask the Lord to send you burden bearers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want to pray for you. I want to speak over your life. I truly believe in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I know there is power from heaven, listen, that can come upon a man. My life today is a testimony of what happens when the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. Just help those under the anointing. I want to pray for you. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, the Lord sent me here through the ministry of your treasured pastor, the angel over this house. Hear me, there must come a time in your life when you encounter genuine grace. Grace is not just for men of God. It's not for those in ministry. It is the force that causes men to excel and to make progress. Are we together now? Yes. I wish we had the time. So I tell you stories. Stories. I am a product of many anointings myself. We have taken by the grace of God from the wells of they that have gone ahead of us. It's a relay. No man invents this anointing. There are all kinds of graces that are responsible for feats of advancement. Acts 10 38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. That anointing made him to go forward. He went about doing good, healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. Hear me. I know you have a great business, but until that business is anointed, it cannot excel. You have a great family. I know you are gifted, but even your gift has to be anointed for it to serve the purposes of the kingdom. I'm trusting that within the next one or two minutes that something from heaven will come upon your destiny and will alter the course of your life that you will go and write it that here at this conference seven days of glory something happened and it changed my life are you ready to receive father I pray standing in faith you don't have to kneel just stand i stand in faith with pastor emmanuel and his wonderful wife the leadership of the champions cathedral and in the name of jesus there are people here who desire to make very strategic advancement i speak to you the oil my God, I'm just seeing like a river flowing. This is what I'm seeing. A river flowing. Help them. A river. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The anointing for the next level of your life. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace.
that grace in the name of Jesus the grace for signs and wonders you are in ministry here I release that grace upon you take that grace prayer fire may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there are women here that God is empowering with unusual grace I release my I stretch my hands may that grace locate you right now may that grace locate you right now help them please let me pray for those in business it takes more than buying and selling to excel there is an unction that can come upon your enterprise you don't have to come out i stretch my hands everyone in this church following online you are in business i declare the power that excels may that grace rest upon you now may that grace land upon you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now please hear me hear me there's an impartation going on there is a grace for visibility there is a grace for influence and visibility just because you have what to offer does not mean the city will receive of your grace there is a grace that gives men visibility hallelujah now listen very carefully Acts chapter 12 we are wrapping up I want I have to pray that grace upon you before I leave the grace for visibility Acts chapter 12 let's start from verse 5 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison is it not doors that are used to close prisons and gates the Bible says Peter an apostle who had potentials to do so much in a city he was locked up in prison closed with doors but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for him Uh uh-huh when herod would have brought him forth that same night listen carefully while peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door there were doors to that prison next verse behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and he smote peter by his side raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hands verse 8 and the angel watch this now he said guard up thyself bind thy sandals and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me in other words you will not remain in this position again follow me let's begin to advance verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel he thought he was he saw a vision verse 10 hallelujah the bible says and when he was past the first and the second door what there means doors watch this there were three doors i want to give you a mystery god taught me about influence and visibility there was the door that brought him out of the prison but he was not yet out from that environment then he came to the second door and then he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that opens to where there is a gate that opens to the city the moment that gate is open all you see before you is the city there is a gate that controls visibility and influence when that gate is opened then the city can see you there are many great men and women of God here God has walked upon you and he's sending you to the city but the city is yet to receive of the investment of the spirit there are ceos on common entrepreneurs politicians help her please help that woman because that's what is happening to her you will marvel at the testimonies you will come and share on this exalted altar can i pray for you father the door and the gates that opens up to the city The anointing
thing that controls influence and visibility upon everyone under the sound of my voice may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now whatever business you are involved with we give it a voice and we command the city to hear your voice everything that has relegated you to the background gifted but limited we open that door and we push you forward in the name of jesus we push you forward we push you forward we push you forward we push you forward forward. in the name of jesus finally let me pray for your spiritual advancement if all you have is money if all you have is a flourishing business flourishing career wonderful family and your relationship i'm not just talking of new birth your passion and fire the highest thing that you must prize in life is your relationship with the lord he says that you prosper even as your soul the kind of prosperity that takes away your passion that the higher you rise in other areas the more you go down spiritually it's not recommended for believers no that after 30 years you are still standing serving this lord jesus that in the end of your life you will be like abraham he says and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things i declare whatever has killed your zeal for god your passion for prayer fasting your word life your passion for the house of god character in the name of jesus like the hair of samson grew back let there be a miracle of restoration for you every wrong association in your life that continues to make you abort destiny i break you away from those associations in the name of jesus christ i declare like never before a fresh hunger for god help that man a fresh passion for prayer a fresh love for the house of god and any spirit sitting on your spiritual advancement i clear them out of the way now let me prophesy over this cathedral and over the workforce Uh, i spoke with your pastor a bit and he told me the marvelous work amazing what the lord is doing in and through this cathedral and you are here you are not part of this cathedral or you have your own church you can receive by faith everything that is alive grows there is nothing that remains at the same position therefore champions cathedral hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus i prophesy from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory to glory to glory in the name of jesus may this church raise mighty men of influence in this city may this church raise captains of industry in this city may this church raise the next set of prophetic and apostolic giants in this city may this church raise financial apostles for the kingdom i pray for the entire workforce every faithful worker committing every partner every financier 
I stand in faith with your pastor and I call upon the God of my covenant. May he bless you. May shame and reproach be far from your life. I came here yesterday and you honored me together with your pastor, his lovely wife, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace that you have honored, may it speak for you. And we pray and agree for the remaining sessions we have up until the Thanksgiving on Sunday. Let it be greater levels of grace. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. The Lord keep you. It will only be for you from glory to glory. Therefore in closing I speak to you. That in this season. And by the power of prophecy. Advance in Jesus name. Move forward in Jesus name. Surpass ordinary standards in Jesus name. John 9 verse 1. And as Jesus passed by. He saw a man who was blind from his birth. Verse 2. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Verse 3. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned nor his parents. But that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Verse 4. I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. For night cometh when no man can walk. For as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. We are going to examine three things. I believe that these are the things that the Lord is going to be dealing with tonight. Hallelujah. Something interesting happened in John chapter 9. It says, and as Jesus passed by, so he, he did not intend staying there. He passed by. And then they saw a man. Usually they would sit on the floor begging for arms. And they saw a man. The Bible says he was born blind. Born blind. And the disciples shared with us a powerful principle. Remember they had been with Jesus. And so Jesus had been teaching them the mysteries of the operation of the kingdom. So they were speaking on the strength of what he had taught them so far. Jesus had been teaching them about different dimensions of the kingdom. And, and the way the laws of the spirit and the laws of the kingdom function. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, while they were passing, they saw an occasion... They saw something that would be an opportunity to find out something that had been brewing in their heart. And they said, Jesus, by the way, let's clarify something. Here is a very good case. This is a man that was born blind. So, in light of what you have taught us, who sin? Are you getting it now? So, that means they had a revelation that there are certain predicaments that can come upon a man as a result of his personal violation of the principles of God. That's the first dimension. Are you getting it now? They said, Jesus, here is a man who is sick. On the strength of what you have taught us, it is either the man sinned or his parents sinned. Are you getting this now? That means Jesus had taught them, right? That there are dimensions of evil and... and um, misdeeds that can come upon man as a result of his personal violation of kingdom principles if you're following me say amen, amen. hallelujah that's the first category we are going to deal with tonight and then the second category he said the man or what his how did they know that the sins of parents can be responsible for a man being born blind I need you to understand the construction of their question. Many times we read these things blindly. They were asking a very serious question out of Revelation. They said, alright Lord, from what you have taught us, if we can infer, it has to be this man's sin. 
because Jesus had not taught them this new dimension he was about to teach them so he had taught them that every time you saw sickness and misfortune and all kinds of things is the sin of the man sin there meaning his violation of the set principles of the kingdom or the sin of his parents here it comes that means even Jesus and the disciples recognize the role of ancestry and inheritance to causing jeopardy in the lives of people are you getting what i'm saying that means they were saying there was a possibility that the parents of this man would have seen and engaged in certain things that although he was born innocent are you getting what i'm saying and then the third category jesus let them know that not only are these two things possible there is a possibility that certain predicaments can come upon people not as a result of their personal violation of the kingdom not as a result of ancestry or inheritance are you getting me that certain things under certain conditions can be orchestrated in the lives of people so that the glory of god can be revealed every one of us in this place tonight falls under one or more of these categories are you getting my point there are some of us the reason why we desperately need a miracle this night is because we have sinned and violated the laws when i talk of sin i'm not just talking of the things we know to be seen lack of righteousness lack of walking in accordance to the principles of the kingdom there are many of us who are here and it may not necessarily be that we violated the kingdom of god the principles of the kingdom but that we are walking in the pain of certain things that have been done before we came let me tell you something very very straight brothers and sisters i always say this i know that many people have thought that there is nothing called a cause look up please i need your attention now we're building that there is nothing called generational curses they are not there's nothing called yokes listen let me tell you the truth if you believe that there are blessings it is very foolish not to believe that there are causes if there were no causes there's no need for blessings are you getting what i'm saying I don't mean to insult all the theologies that we have heard and i'm not saying they are wrong but i'm telling you that many we have done that teaching the full gospel you can get the teaching but when there is inaccurate and incomplete teaching of the truth it leads people into a lot of error are you getting what i'm saying now listen there are certain things in the kingdom that cannot be stopped what happens is that you can operate certain kingdom principles that can exempt you from their effect. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it exempts you, but it does not mean it cancels the operation of that law. Please follow what I'm sharing. If you get this revelation, you will walk out free tonight. Hallelujah. If by reason of certain demonic activities... There is a cause over a family. Watch this. And you come to the light of the understanding of redemption. What Christ has done for you. And you operate those principles. Listen. It's not going to just stop that thing from working for everybody. It will exempt you and you are out. And as many people who are interested in doing what you have done. Are you getting my point? That's the reason why people will still keep dying. Are you getting what i'm saying as a result of certain things who seen that this man was born blind was it him how could he have seen when he was not born at that time are you getting my point now so jesus said no this is not him because this thing was he was born it was a predicament he found himself with that predicament who seen that you were born with your genotype ss who seen that you found out that there was a family terminal disease 
you were just born with it are you understanding what i'm saying who seen that you were born with a blood condition who seen that you you just found out that you were in a family that was involved in witchcraft and idol worship you didn't have a choice you were born in it are you getting my point and although you did not contribute anything actively you cannot deny the effect that this thing is causing in your life today we are going to deal with certain issues tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah when the thief the two thieves hung on the cross and jesus was at their center one of them looked and said we have been punished for what we did in other words he acknowledged we stole they caught us we are on that cross so all we can ask for is the mercy of god and he said remember me hallelujah so we we see that the law of cause and effect still exists in the realm of the spirit he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows that shall he we only use it for money is a spiritual law is a spiritual law that means everyone in the kingdom is a farmer you are always sowing you are sowing seeds and the bible says according to the justice system of god whatever it is that you sow you will reap hallelujah there are a number of us that what we are seeing in our lives today are the fruits of our personal violation of the principles of god it may be as a result of ignorance it may be things that happened before you were born again born again or you may even be here and you're, you've not given your heart to the lord that has granted satan listen let me tell you something the way satan walks huh please understand this i i i, I shared a little last week you can get the teaching the speaking blood hallelujah our communion service was a powerful time and i did share that the first revelation of the blood is not mercy is the justice of god the mercy of god comes because of the justice system of god hallelujah please let me have two people two guys two gentlemen please just come quickly any two people now come one here one here watch this hallelujah now if this is my handkerchief please everybody look i want to teach you something powerful if this is my handkerchief all right and brother you are trying to take it knowing that it's not your own is that true if you are trying to take it and i suddenly realize you will shift your hand very quickly because you are doing it illegally is that true now but assuming that you come and you now lie to this guy that this handkerchief belongs to you and he pays you for it are you getting the difference now he pays you for this handkerchief and he wants to come and take it and i come in and say this is my handkerchief do you think he will just go back like that are you getting my point i want you to understand satan's system of operation in mankind satan operates on a legal ground are you getting what i'm saying when you understand satan's system of operation you will now see the need for the blood you will now see the need for the name of jesus and you will appreciate the benefits of redemption are you getting my point satan did not come to steal dominion from man he was willfully giving look at what he told jesus christ remember in the temptation one of the temptations what did he tell jesus he said all these kingdoms i will give to you if you bow because it was given to me who gave him adam 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 willingly gave man a uh, satan dominion that was why jesus had to collect it legally did jesus look at satan and say i am the christ give me back the keys it would have been a violation of the principles of the kingdom are you getting what i'm saying so every time we walk in sin and iniquity what we are doing is that we are giving satan license are you getting what i'm saying it's an authorization we are giving him authority and so he can stand and say on legal basis bless you thank you for instance let me use one example something that concerns all of us the issues of finance 
forget about kingdom prosperity when you are not faithful in tithing are you getting what i'm saying now are you seeing that some of us are where we are financially not because the government hates us not because we were born from poor families necessarily are you getting what i'm saying now some of us have consistently violated the set principles you see the principles of the kingdom are not invented you just discover them and walk in it you don't invent a new kingdom principle no it's been there the bible says ask for the ancient part it didn't say create one ask for it it's already there ask for it walk daring and you will find rest for your soul hallelujah again and again we find ourselves violating the principles of the kingdom But I want you to know that whether the predicament is caused by your personal violation of the kingdom, there is still a technology in the spirit that can take you out in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then the issue of the effects of what parents and ancestry and so on and so forth has done. Oh, it's so important you must understand that these things work our fathers covenanted africa to satan our geographical regions came into fraternity with the kingdom of darkness hallelujah i've had the opportunity to travel around many places and when i enter a city for a meeting if i'm staying there a few days one of the things i want to learn is the culture of the people hallelujah and in a few places that we've had opportunity to i have seen the reason why certain geographical regions are held back that's why you see certain traits come on to certain things and people keep saying it doesn't work just believe there is nothing you are seeing that people are not getting married it's obvious they say don't worry just claim it that nothing is happening faith is not foolishness faith works on proper kingdom understanding not just some shadow guesswork no are you getting what i'm saying now a lot of preachers have said anything you don't understand just take it by faith no faith does not mean haphazard you can know the build up of the factors that are put together that makes you believe that that thing will work that's why the bible says in all you're getting get understanding hallelujah so many of us today are victims you found out that your mother used to be epileptic you were now born love god all your life you were born again maybe from a young age and preachers told you everything is all right but you are seeing the same traits in your parents happening in your life hallelujah everyone that got married in your family the man or the woman died you are seeing the traces and people just tell you don't worry everything is okay just jump and shout around and say it's fine see there are a lot of people carrying lots of disappointment and pain in church from the result of wrong teachings that women of god have given people it's just that they don't have the courage to confront us and call us wicked people but there are many misguided teachings that we have brought the body of christ into that is causing them to die and you see because of the man of god is always the one receiving the honorarium is that true he's always the one receiving the blessings he's always the one he's shielded somewhat from the effect of all of these things even if he falls sick as a result of his own ignorance he has money to remedy his predicament fast so nobody will know who is deceiving who are you following me tonight the bible shows us clearly that a possibility exists for people to be benefactors of either the right doing or the wrong doings of those who have gone ahead of them hallelujah number three which may be the situation of some of us here 
Jesus introduced something new to them. Hmm. Verse 3. Jesus answered, Neither. That means there is still a possibility that you may have remedied the issue of all kinds of evil that comes through family lineage. It's possible that you may have come into a point where you are born again and genuinely walking in the way of the Lord. But then you will notice that certain evils may seem to happen unrestrained. And you may be tempted to ask the question, Lord, what did I do wrong? Are you getting the point now? Because as far as I'm concerned, any curse and any yoke over my life has been broken. I know I'm free based on the truth of God's word. I now have the revelation of the blood. I'm born again. I know what Christ has done and I have applied it in my life. So I don't expect that there will be any family curse working in my life again. And I know that I'm walking by the principles of God. And where I fall short of his standard, I understand the principles of repentance. And I know how to approach the throne of mercy. But Jesus said, there are certain things that can happen in your life. And this is not for everybody. Are you getting my point? He said, there are certain things that are orchestrations. And the Bible says, so that at a certain time, the glory of God may be revealed in your life. I know that this contradicts many messages that many of us have had. But this is the Bible. Are you getting my point? A man called Job, for instance. The Bible tells us that this was a man who feared God and eschewed evil. It was God's own testimony. Not a man. God who dwells in light where there is no shadow of darkness gave a testimony about a man satan himself came and said as a result of this man's faithfulness there was a hedge belt around him and i satan could not even penetrate him and he said lord does job serve you for nothing he said take away what he has and watch the way he will curse you to your face i hope you know that those in the earth realm did not know there was a drama happening in the heavenlies are you getting my point that was why when job's predicament came three men came together with elihu and from their human logical point what did they say they kept quiet for seven days seven days they could not talk to job later they opened their mouth and said job what sin did you do that bring this kind of catastrophe and job said be careful lest you bring a curse upon yourself he said though he slay me yet will i praise him i know my heart is clean i know my slate is clean oh lord i served you but i saw my father die i prayed and prayed and prayed we fasted we even had revelations that he was going to leave but he died are you seeing that now and he was a man who feared god Oh my mother, oh my brother, oh Lord, I wrote jam in integrity and I read, I did everything. But the result came out and I may have to repeat one whole year again. Oh God, I would have cheated in that exam hall. But I stayed and because of it now, I have an extra year. He said for such kind of people, there is a technology in the spirit that is able to work these things out and birth a dimension of glory i'm preaching to someone tonight hallelujah we are very quick to be judgmental over people you suddenly see sickness ravaging a family and you're seeing that they love god the woman is the sanctuary keeper cleaning everywhere yet her children are dying and people just look and say oh god oh dear that means that there is a hidden sin in this woman's life but the Bible says at the end of Job's life, when God made a boast with him, God gave him twice everything. His daughters were the fairest in the city. The wife of Job looked at him and said, do you still hold your integrity? In other words, whether you hold your integrity or not, as far as we are concerned, the situation. So just cause God, justify what people are saying so that it will be that it's your sin that killed you. And Job said, why do you talk like one of these foolish women? He said though he slay me yet will i praise him what did i do wrong oh god that until now i am not married 
What did I do wrong? That in our family there is no marriage. What did I do wrong? That everybody is poor and broke in our family. We get money and nothing happens. As far as we are concerned, we are Christians. Even if there is a cause or something, I've, I've gone for deliverance. So what is wrong? I bring a word for someone tonight. God is about to birth a dimension of glory in your life. That you, listen, when God is done with you, you will appreciate it. You will begin to thank God and say, Lord, it was good. When I passed through this valley of the shadow of death, I did not know that it was you making a boast of me in the realm of the spirit. And though others have compromised and married, it says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. Let me prophesy to you that though weeping endures for a night, my Bible tells me that joy comes with the morning. It says he that weepeth, bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return rejoicing there are many people today who are going through certain things because they are christians not because they are unbelievers we have been trained to criticize and persecute people because we have been taught by myopic preachers whose god is their belly and based on the things they see reading just at first sight they just believe When Jesus hung on the cross, the people who had had his message stood by that cross and they said, what is all this? This man healed the sick. This man did this. I, I mean, we saw him walk away from the crowd. We saw him do a lot of things. Could he be so weak that he's helpless on that cross that men can mock him? Why didn't he demonstrate that he is the king of kings and lord of lords? But for the glory. Jesus was prophetically speaking about himself in that third instance. But I have come under the anointing to announce to somebody. That when the anointing of the spirit shows up. Part of the things that it does to you. Is, it says to appoint unto them in Zion. You know what that means? To set a date for your freedom. It says to appoint. To appoint. Isaiah 61. It says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. To bind up the broken hearted. To set the captives free. It says to appoint unto those who mourn. You know what it means to appoint? If I appoint you. And I say you are a gatekeeper. What happens? You assume duty. So to appoint means prophetically. To look at the people and through the access of the prophetic. To say we call your time of deliverance today. It says to appoint unto them that more. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed. When the spirit takes over your soul oh, yeah. that's what will happen to somebody tonight when the spirit takes over your soul when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul tonight god will take away that garment of shame he will take it away he will remove it and give you a new garment that when you step out everyone will know that you met the lord i want you to believe i'm not just motivating you his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over 
and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that garment of reproach over your life it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul and his mother called him Jabez. She said, because I bore him in sorrow. Jabez did not name himself. He was a victim of his mother's prophecy. His mother's pain made her to call him Jabez. Jabez. A name that brought sorrow. And Jabez grew up. Everywhere he went, he saw sorrow. What did this man do? Who sinned? Was it him? Or his parents Jabez's mother cursed him he said you cost me sorrow as a result you will live in sorrow but a day came Jabez said no come on God there must be a way of negotiating this he said oh that thou wouldest bless me remedy this curse over my life oh that thou wouldest bless me I can't live like this lord you are a just god you must give me an option to demonstrate whether i want to practice witchcraft or not i cannot be suffering because my father was a king i can't be suffering because we worship idols i was not there come on now the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents i was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child lord we must negotiate this night there is a way i'm going to hold on to you there must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen hear me friends if you can hold on to the hand of god tonight you will leave this place with something but if you come here casually you will keep clapping for people who came here desperately there are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days and they said lord i'm holding on to you jabez mother called him jabez and jabez said oh god thou would you not bless me enlarge my coast and the bible said god answered him hallelujah the thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been i've not been giving i've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around and i know that i gave satan legal access but tonight oh god i'm negotiating with you i come what do you think going to the throne of grace is it's not just to go and stand there you go and talk and say lord it is written it is written although it is true that the soul that sins die it is written also that it's not your desire that any wicked perish it is written you take the word of god the legal system of heaven he said produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night 
come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Hiya. arise shine my light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me we will arise arise our light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me hallelujah and i got angry i said lord if there is nobody to speak in my family i can't speak what is happening my younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination my elder sister for years would not get admission things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order Come on now, I prophesy. Let there be order. Listen, if there is nobody to speak in your family, the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says, I provoke another voice. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. Hallelujah. Please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to working in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft 
call all of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come To the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. So tonight. I want you to believe jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 come on just pray in tongues for one minute something just entered my spirit as my father has sent me with the same equipping with the same equipping john 20 john 20 John 20. Ah! Goodness. John 20. Are you there? Then said Jesus to them, listen, peace be to you as my father has sent me. He said, even so, send I you. So he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him. That means he equipped me. The father did something to me. And I'm about to do the same thing to you. And it will make you do the works that he did. 
watch this 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them he said this is the secret receive ye the holy ghost receive ye the holy ghost i transfer the ministry of the holy spirit from me to you let him walk with you and you will do wonders you will suddenly become a priest you will suddenly become a king the same way i set men free he will empower you and you will set men free the same way i spoke and it came to pass now the same way the holy ghost walked with me this was my secret receive ye receive that means you can reject him he said receive don't reject him receive when he comes to you receive his presence makes you become like jesus it's not about praying in tongues it's more than praying in tongues you receive him you can reject him jesus said when he comes receive receive don't reject many people have been rejecting him you are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one 9 verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society 
because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and receive his sight until they call his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called sadiq ibrahim i never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of hiv right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen 
I know that many of you believe, but you have not received that reality that your situation can change. Tonight, I believe God for somebody. Let's trust God together. Let's trust God together. Let's trust God together and say, Lord, it can change. It can change. That genotype can change. They refuse to allow you marry because you are SS. That genotype can change. That genotype can change. You must not understand how everything can happen. The Bible says, just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child, not the way of the wind. That's how you do not know the work of God. There are certain dimensions that are inexplainable. Hallelujah. Selena is here. Where is Selena? Wave your hand. I think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for. She had triplets, right? Or something. The children are still alive. Triplets. One, two, three. Three children. I just felt a need to clear this air. Because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits. And you have problems that are killing you. But rather than opening your heart, you are there just wondering. Is God really the one doing this? Can somebody just fall down like that without being touched? Is it really true? Is it real? It's not your fault. It's the way some of us were raised. You don't have to be angry. Listen, listen. When you ever hear a man criticizing a man of God, don't blame the person. Never insult the person. They are only talking that while we were insulting Jesus Christ on the cross. What did he do? He said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them. Never find yourself trying to defend yourself. No, no. It's not part of your ministry. The psalmist said in Psalm 3, Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. He says, You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. I always tell people, Gamaliel spoke beautifully. He said, If it is of God, no man can stop it. If it is not of God, it will fail. There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like I see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease I remember a particular lady I was talking to. I think she might be somewhere here. A herbalist predicted her death today. Today, this 25th. The herbalist predicted that it's today that she would die. So when I got to hear about it, I said, interesting. Come and die here. Hallelujah. Just come and die here. There is a rod of a higher priesthood. There is a rod of a higher priesthood. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking somebody tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything to what for me to do? I am that I am. Oh, 
talking to you. Is there anything to what for me to do? I am that I am. For the last time now, prophesy. Is there Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere. Inside and outside. Connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back. And let this most Holy Spirit step into your life is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything for me to do I am that I am Come on, celebrate the God of miracles oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Is there anything Do I want for me to do Too hard for me to do I am that I am I am that I am hey. Is there anything Is there anything Too hard for you to do Too hard for him to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for him to do? I am that I am. Lift your hands, everybody, and let us worship him. Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God? Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves 
that situation will never change but with god that's why we are singing that song emmanuel emmanuel Hiya. emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah Before I minister I begin ministering Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called... Emmanuel His name is God Emmanuel Hallelujah Those of you in this row just lift your hands I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here I see the angels of the Lord moving At the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this room. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called. Your name is God. 
presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my praise Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One two three shout jesus shake up a back approach couple secretary i cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness i cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft secretary by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God, inside and outside, right now. Let the power of God bring deliverance. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Those outside, just those outside, goodness. I see a number of angels. You're going to shout Jesus after the count of three. Outside means everywhere that is not in. And there will be massive 
deliverance thank you Jesus are you ready now those outside I see the power of God like files of fire one two at the count of three shout Jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God those outside be sensitive there is so much power I don't know what it is but the, the power of God is so strong outside in the name of our God hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus name of our God bring the lady most high most high you're the Lord most high leave this girl in peace now go now let her go don't waste our time let her go now Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come, don't force her, she will come now. Quickly. I call you Lord Most High. Don't touch her, she will come by herself. Most High. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go now. Thank you, Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus' name. She's free. name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you 
I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you move that. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the spirit. Out. Out. Let her go free. A time of deliverance is now I speak to you wicked spirit let her go now Jesus died listen let me tell you there is no power listen there is no power that will resist the power of God tonight the Bible says let every soul be subject to the higher powers have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel please just save time when I mention your case Gabriel Gabriel is outside outside the Lord is ministering to me outside Gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside you are Gabriel you are outside hallelujah come my dear what is wrong with you I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically look come come up look at this girl look at her you will know that this girl doesn't look healthy you don't even know what and the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood this is how somebody just gets up and just dies What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, 
Ah, Kai, come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out now. Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain. Just your stomach region here. Very seriously. One of you here. Because I'm feeling that same pain. So I know. You. We pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um, the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit be free now. In the name of Jesus, let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you. I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer. Any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out! Come out of her! Now! In the name of Jesus. 
out out of her thank you Jesus Christ be free right now out out please as I pray for you check yourself he's able out come out I will pray for you and I will talk to you in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of Jesus I set you free by the power of the highest Say God is able. God is able. God. And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in Jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here I'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the Lord is showing me is a woman I think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person I'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so I can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's the situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what, just straight to the point, what happened? My body is very hot and um, the head is turning me like move, I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I'll pray for you. Just just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabi, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at this is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg. I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. You're a footballer? I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young Cho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it stand up stand up jump do what you couldn't do just do it test yourself look at this look at See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture, fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for an onion. See, there's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. It never returns. Come, 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 don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. pain there. Let me see. Just, just the, no, 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 you don't need to lift your hand. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that. You woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at it. The power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any? No pain is. She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole, you used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people. But you will be very surprised. When, when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord, once God shows me something, he has done it. Please check yourself. 
check yourself we are not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ please make sure you only come out for the cases i call why is he out eh? okay let me pray for you father for the mother we agree right now let there be freedom in the name of jesus look at this look at the miracle your teeth is closed now come come please we need a witness we need a witness is it true don't tell lies here you're in the presence of god where is it sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we're acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is please if you have any problem with your eye just lay your hands there will be healing miracles right now there will be healing miracles right now with the eyes immediately i pray for you some of you the power of god will touch your eyes just check yourself and when you find out that there is a miracle i want to take a few testimonies there please lift your lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes jesus will give you the praise hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who is preparing to go to india what is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir. what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Augusta, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's a, you don't use stethoscope you can hear it so it's a serious situation she will be healed now you're a doctor now wait you go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of God is flowing through you. Just breathe in and out. 
Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Please check yourself. Lord, have mercy on the Father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection in the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke as I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some... Okay, you're that too of stroke. Because immediately I, had, I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny, goodness, I sense the power of God, in the name that is above all names, Father, I pray, that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are still going to shout that name over this case. The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One, shake it Two, get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three, be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. 
I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, seek out of the book and read. It said, none of this shall fail. None shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request? Please. If you don't have it, it's time to begin to write it now. For all those who are sick, you are sick in your body. You came specifically for healing. It's your time now. Please come out. Please come out. Come out. Just come and stand here. Everyone sick. Everyone sick. Inside and outside. Just find your way and line up here. Ushers, just arrange them quickly. Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Praise me. My Ow. God is he awesome. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. Awesome. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. Awesome. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Be healed, mommy. He prayed, in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray, let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals, receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray, may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it, and once we are done here, but this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online 
now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah zekata baba baba kata praga de baladarash zekate prondo koso praga de baladarash sete pro shapara da baladarara zekate baladarabos everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony lord in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit change this situation change this situation in the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out sit up I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from Kogi state eddie from joss Launching from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. 
in the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. You're a faithful Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. You're a Take this anointing with you. In the name of Jesus, awesome to your locality, yeah. do mighty things for the kingdom. Take it out. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit break through. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Greater apostolic signs. Greater apostolic wonders. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing 
inside and outside take it now by the power of the holy ghost take it now take it now go and heal the sick go and heal the sick you will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed you will cast out devils receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it i pray i command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions sopotopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah stop i'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the bible in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now i activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands hold your hands take it now Take it now. Rapa bashata, kapa tata ba, rapa te, embreke te, reke kashopa, man prateketa. I activate the gifts of the spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry. Take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Mata daba daba katabala. Hallelujah. There are many of you who are kingdom financiers, financial apostles. Everyone will be blessed. But there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom
Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every closed door, be open now. 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 I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Hallelujah. Every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment 
that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made Jesus Lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a Christian but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ I'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you Jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming God bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you Jesus hallelujah I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus may your Christian experience be authentic in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate Jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the Lord brought you here to bless you. Thank you so much. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing these ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace you always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf koinonia celebrate them very quickly